The treatment that I wanted before anything was my lips. I'd always had a thin lip and once I'd had my teeth veneered, I felt a lot more confident within this area, smiling. Um, I used to talk behind my hands a lot. So I felt that if I was to get my lips done, I could show off my new teeth and be a lot more confident vocally. I chose New Cosmetics because to me it's really important what other people say about clinics. When I went on Google there were so many different websites that offered maybe a cheaper price and that wasn't something that I wanted to go for. I read different reviews on their Facebook page and on their Twitter account and that's really what kind of sold new to me because other people had said they'd been here and they found that the experience and the treatment that they got was something that I wanted. You can spend a lot on advertising um, but you can't make before and after pictures that people have personally posted and I think the fact that there's so many good reviews online just it sealed the deal for me. If I speak honestly about having a consultation then I have to say that a good consultation for me is telling me what I don't want to hear. I need to be reined in. I've been to different cosmetic surgeons before, nurses, and they've taken advantage of my need to be perfect. I do suffer from body dysmorphia and I always disclose that and I feel that I've spent a lot of money in the past and maybe had, I don't, I don't want to say that I've been mistreated but I've had people take advantage of me. When I had my consultation here they said no. Everything I wanted was a no. I can still move my forehead, which I don't like. However, I understand that that's better for my face. I wanted huge lips, which they wouldn't do. And again, I know that they're right, but had I got my own way, I probably wouldn't look as, um, as I do now. I probably have the trout pout and the shiny non-movement of my forehead. So although the consultation really didn't go as I wanted it to, because I kept getting told no, 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 I'm glad that I trusted Deborah um, because I am really, really happy with the results. My first experience of having Botox and filler was seven or eight years ago. I didn't understand that Anybody can give you Botox. A hairdresser can give you Botox. I didn't know that. And I went into a clinic on this street, on Rodney Street, and luckily, I was okay. However, it wasn't until I learned more about the procedures that I didn't... I thought she was a doctor. I didn't know that you could just inject people. And the fact that I now know that come in here, it's only a registered nurse or a doctor that will do any treatments on me. It makes me feel safe. You know, this is my face and I can't believe that there are people out there just injecting people. So the fact that when you come in, it's a very open and honest surgery, you can have a look at the registration certificates, you can have a look at the qualifications of anybody you speak to, down to the receptionist, you know, everything is so transparent here and that's what I appreciate the most. It's not salespeople that work here, it's medical professionals. From literally just calling, the level of service was personal. Nobody spoke about money, Nobody spoke about finance, nobody spoke about all the things that in the past I've experienced had to be dealt with first before you could even speak about what troubles you. It was more 
well, this is the cost and this is how much you'll need to pay. Um, when I come here, they spoke about what I wanted to achieve. They spoke about what I wasn't happy with facially, um, aesthetically what they could do to change my feelings and my emotions. Afterwards, we spoke about the cost because we had to, but it was, it was a very different customer service that I received because it was about me. It wasn't about how much money they were making, which is something that, again, through, over the years, I've walked into large clinics because you think they're the best. You go to Harley Street, you think, wow, this is going to be the best. It's all about money. Customer service here was really personal to how I felt emotionally. The most valuable part of, of the service I received from New was that when I called up, everybody knew my name. I didn't have to explain, oh, I'm doing this, I'm coming in for this, I'm late for this, I'm late for everything. It was, yeah, we know what you're having, we remember you, and it, it wasn't forced. Um, I just popped into the loo then and uh, a lady who I feel really bad because I don't know her name. She's like, hi Rebecca, are you okay? And, and it's, it's a really nice feeling. It's not clinical for a clinic. It's really nice and uh, I've brought my niece with me today and she sat downstairs with one of the nurses eating chocolate. It, it's just the little things that make the difference here. The first time that I visited New Cosmetics, I wanted lip filler and I wanted Botox in my head, at the sides and in my chin. So I've got um, a bit of dimpling in my chin, which I didn't know before I visited New that I could actually get rid of. So none of that happened. <laughs> the lady I spoke to said, you don't need any Botox in your forehead, your forehead doesn't move, and you certainly don't need any filler. If I was to describe New Cosmetics, I'd have to say that they were personal, caring, and transparent. The best thing for me about New is they're not afraid to say that the customer is not always right. And that's, oh, it, it's such a big thing for me. I've been taken advantage of so many times. And for them to say, no, and your money's no good here, I don't care, you know, it doesn't matter. We're not gonna try and get more money out of you. We're gonna do what's right for you. That meant a lot to me. If you want to get filler and if you want to get Botox, I think that the most important thing is to focus on the results afterwards. You might be a little bit scared of needles and you might think, oh, it's really going to hurt. However, it's literally, I think it's about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes of your life. And then you're just going to have a gorgeous, wrinkle-free face and a, a lovely pout. And it's such a a minimal time. They've got TV on in the room, there's a nurse there to reassure you and it's a bit like having a chat with the girls and you can bring a friend in with you as well, you don't have to go through it on your own and it's just so quick and because you're chatting away and you're daydreaming of what you'll look like afterwards, it's kind of over before you know it. It's not something where you have to go in and you'll be there for a full hour and it's really going to hurt and it's really intrusive. Literally, before you know it, it's over, it's done. And the results, although they're not visible immediately, literally within a couple of days, you look fantastic. And it's only within a couple of hours you've forgotten that you, you know, it quite possibly hurt maybe a little bit. They use um, a local anaesthetic here, which is great. They don't just use a cream, which is something that other, other surgeries have used, other clinics have used, and they've 
have not been as effective. But the fact that, again, cost means nothing. It might cost a bit more, but it means that it doesn't hurt the patient. So that really helped me. New Cosmetics has, has helped me in a way of understanding that what, what I feel about how I look and how other people perceive me are quite possibly two different things. They've not sugarcoated everything, they've not told me I'm fabulous, they've not told me I'm gorgeous, they've not, um, they've not laid anything on thick. But what they have done is medically explain to me, well, actually, this is quite normal. And medically, if you do this, you'll get this result. Like, I didn't know you can start to reject Botox. I thought that, oh, I've started Botox young. That's fabulous. I'll never get wrinkles. No, you build up an immunity. This is what the Deborah told me last week. And when you really need Botox, when you're 60 odd, it won't work anymore. So you need to lay off the Botox. And I didn't know that. So for me, New Cosmetic has educated me. And that's really important because they don't know when I'm 60 if I'm going to be their customer or not. But they've helped me for the future. Knowledge is power. <laughs>